Fabio Foreign explains why he's no longer touring on Rolling Loud. Raise some more people comes. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And this ain't even, and I'm saying, this ain't even nothing against Rolling Loud because I f with Rolling Loud. Like, I was off about this shit. But I'm going to let y'all know what's going on for real. Let me just situate my bike. I'm driving right now. Sometimes you gotta drop the. I need five. I need. I need three thousand. I need. Damn, my shit going. My shit not going to the movies like I thought. I need. I need like three thousand, four thousand people. It's not so good. Yo, Dio, you wanna come up here in Tokyo? Ah, in Philly, why would I be in Philly? Man, in Philly, why would I be in Philly? What's happening in Philly? Driving a the mosquito, son. Oh, got him. Tight. No follows. I mean, coming in. Nah, cause you know, nah, cause, nah, cause I f roll it loud, and it be bozo niggas. It, like it's a lot of niggas I used to have around me that was like Frank, like, like doofball, like just silly goofy. Joke. It's my brother Pacey McGrady. Y'all just watching the internet. Y'all just watching the internet, and y'all don't really know what's going on behind the scenes and none of that shit. For me, like. That's really my brother, Pacey McGrady. And, like, you know, I don't, I, me and Natalie, none ain't got no problems. We ain't never had no problems. Like, y'all never, y'all just never knew how close me and the homegirl was, you feel me? We really tapped in differently. And, you know, people go through shit. I, I, I ain't holding nothing against her. I don't think she holding nothing against me. I feel sure. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's the real shit about, about uh, none. Yeah, please, man. Yo, yo, pan up. Yo, I gotta talk to you, son. Some girl hitting me up. I ain't even know what to say. She hit me up and saying something. Some type of babies. And I said, yo, I don't know. I said, I don't know. I, I don't know nothing. That's what I told her. I don't know. You know what I'm They keep telling me about these babies. Yo, social, let me call you when I'm done. I'm about to tell him about this roller loud shit. I'm waiting till I get like 3,000, um, what you call it? So I can tell him about the rolling loud shit. Yo, Panda, you funny, son. <laughs> Dio, you can, um, you want to come up and, 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 and talk your piece? Dio, you want to get up here? Because, oh, oh, shit. There you go. There they go. All right, so let me break it down for you, right? Obviously, I don't know if y'all peep, but I haven't really been on a rolling loud shit because I'm gonna tell you why, but I haven't been on a rolling loud shit in a little minute. I don't even remember. I think it been like a, I think it had to be like a year. Word, I ain't do none of the rolling louds. And And for real, for real, it's a real reason behind that. You feel me? So, I used to have like a bunch of, you know what I'm saying, around me. And that shit took me. Nigga said we bullied that shit up. Oh, yeah. So, we had, I used to have a bunch of around me and shit like some, some, um, sturdy, some certified, and some bozos. I was on stage, my son got the model, just got home, it's a movie, right? So, I go and tell a movie, tune in to the homeboys. So the homeboys are like, all right, I'm gonna wait right here, right? Now, as soon as I turn around, like, yeah, yeah, I say nothing, say nothing. It's just one doofball, right? <laughs> it's just one major doofball, 
You feel me? I'm gonna tell y'all the doofiest doof ball when we finish. It's just one major idiot, like, cone ball, like, just, just a loser of a nigga, you feel me? Just a loser of a nigga, you feel me? So I'm going up there, and the nigga's so thirsty to come. He like, yeah, 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 cool, cool. I turned around, you know, like, like, you know, this is like little kids. And he said, yeah, Fabi, right, we gonna stay right here. I turned around, and started acting crazy with the security guard. Now, boom, let me get to the real shit, the real just of the situation, right? Now, boom. I comes off stage. I perform successful movie viral with Nicki. I comes off stage. Niggas like, yo, it's a, it was a fight. I'm like, fight with who? They like, yo, I called a little E. It's a little, little, little Nicki. So, so the nigga was fanning, trying to get on stage. Security end up twisting his brains up. You feel me? So, so, so my son cost a model, and I wouldn't even talk about this if he ain't locked up, because he's locked up for it. This is a real thing that really happened. He's locked up for it. You know, I don't do the internet shit and I don't discuss. But the cost a model, he just came home that same day from the feds, right? I'ma get Dior up here because Dior has something to do with it, right? Now not to say he has something to do with it, but you know, that shit, that case is already finished and done. I had to pay Roland Lau $40,000 behind these you feel me? So I went, I came off stage, security twisting somebody up. But this is why I'm on stage, I ain't know. Security twisting up. Costamato being an honorable n that he is, he went to go help his man. Mind you, this is one day home from... I'm talking about he came home from jail that one day and went straight to see me at Rolling Loud. You feel me? And he's an honorable n so he ain't gonna let him go out and get beat up by security. So, and I'm only saying this because he's locked up for it right now. I don't know what the like. He's in Virginia getting like... He just came home, you feel me? So, boom. So now, uh-uh, stay right there. So now, as as that's happening, right? As that's happening, I'm looking around. Free, yeah, free costume model because that's a soldier. You feel me? The heat, when he gets up and look, because he got jumped. When he looks up, the guy that he went to go help is gone. He ran. So the nigga is uh, over the fence running. He One, you validated the whole situation, rolling loud. You feel me? And then you ran on your mans. Now, Dior went to go help costume model. And end up getting his ass in some um in some problems. You feel me with the police? So they both had cases. The bozo is no longer around me. Cause I and that, that's another. You know I don't go to the internet shit, but there's a lot of reasons why I be cutting these off. You understand? I be cutting these clean off. None of that, I don't tolerate no weird shit. So once and once I see something happen, it's like you gotta stay back from you. You gotta separate yourself. So I left that nigga wherever he at. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know where that is at. He probably I don't know where he's at. You know what I'm saying? For sure, these niggas need L7s. But these niggas ain't, these niggas not built like us and they not like us type of niggas. So it's like, these niggas just go about their life and just, you feel me? Get the fuck away from me. Right? So, Casamado's locked up right now. And then on top of that, on top of that, Casamado, like, yo, you know what? Fuck it. You ran cool. I need y'all niggas to come to court, right? And tell court, like, listen. I didn't start the fight. You started, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, be an honorable nigga, because son just came home from the feds. He didn't even check in the probation yet. So that's why he, they gave him three, four years right now. He's back, back in jail, three, four years. You feel me? And, and, and all I can say is, listen, I started the fight. It was my fault, my problem. But you know, this goofballs just can't do that. Now, the security team sued Roland Loud behind that whole situation. So me and Roland Loud went half and half. Me and Roland Loud put 40,000, 40,000 each. So we went 80,000 to pay that team off, you feel me, to see, to still have me situated and for me to be able to perform at Roland Loud. So now, this is my first time back and it happened in Miami. So now we back and we back in Miami. I think it happened. Yeah, it happened. Did it happen in Miami? Oh, it was Roland Loud, New York. I don't know, but Whatever. And it happened. It, and it, yeah, free the guys, free model. You feel me? Free model. It's official. I want y'all to hold that man name high. You feel me? Because he don't got no business helping it. You know when you when you got niggas around you that's 
30 and certified is be helping is that don't need to be helped because they're around and they looking at them as official too but these niggas is bozo that's why it's not around me you know my guys you know the that's around me you know the guys y'all see the guys y'all know who's around me i ain't gotta talk y'all know who i f you know who i don't f and if i don't f with them it's just a problem free model gangster but you know i'm back on rolling loud shout out to tyreek shout out rolling loud back up there movie you know what I'm saying? Liddy. And I got the new movie Friday, too. You know what I'm saying? New movie Friday. Yeah, free model. When I said models is stand up. How much I need to the whole lot man named Hob. Till he come home. When he come home, I'm going to pick his ass up from jail. Yo! Thanks for tuning in to 9MAG TV.